Hey guys, how's it going? The project I'm working on today is a plumbing project. I'm replacing some um, copper piping with um, plastic PEX PEX piping. And what happened was the copper piping burst due to freezing. It's kind of cold where I live, so the pipes um, can freeze up and burst. So I'm going to take those copper pipes out and replace them with uh, the PEX piping. All right, what we have here is the old copper piping, which is the uh, the bad piping. I've got about uh, 12 feet of piping here. I've removed from the uh, attic crawl space where the uh, pipes are above the ceiling. So you can see these pipes have been um, patched in the past. Um, it's not a good situation with, for where these pipes are at. They freeze up and burst. So right there you can see the uh, the slit where the uh, where the pipe burst in that piece. This piece has a similar similar break down here. This one's a little bit bigger. See it bulges out and splits out. And another break right there. So I'm going to be replacing it with this uh, half inch PEX piping. So I've never worked with the uh, plastic piping before, so this will be my first time. So it's, this is half inch um, piping, and this is also um, half inch in, inside diameter copper piping. And I've got a few couplings that I'm going to be using because there's existing um, copper piping in the attic right now, so I'm going to have to join the plastic piping to the um, existing copper, so I'm going to use these um, one half inch um, couplings from um, Gator Bite. Um, I've used these products before in the past, and I've had good um, good results with them. Here's another um, adapter I'm going to be using, and another uh, half inch coupling. So should be uh, pretty smooth and quick. This is the attic um, access, um, I guess, door in the ceiling. Um, it's not fun going up into the attic. There's uh, loose insulation up there, blown-in insulation, as well as fiberglass mat insulation. So I've got my ladder out, and I'm going to drag my um, piping up there along with the uh, the couplings and some um, saws to uh, cut the piping down to size because I have two 10 footer pieces of piping to replace a 12 foot run so I'm gonna only be using uh, two feet of one of the 10 footers and that's gonna take a little bit of a measuring and cutting so this is what it looks like up in the attic um, I'm not going to take the camera very far into the attic, but this is just to give you some idea of uh, what I'm dealing with here. You can see the roof beams. So hopefully I won't have to spend too much time up here in the attic. Not a fun place to be. Alright guys, I just finished um, up in the attic. I made it out alive. It's uh, <clears throat> not fun, uh, dark and dusty attic. But anyways, um, one last thing before I go is that there's something um, you got to remember when you're dealing with the uh, pecs and the gator bite um, couplings, they have a um, liner that is this little thing. The liner has to be put into the um, PEX piping before it's put into the um, the coupling. It's pretty important um, so that the uh, the pipe doesn't collapse in the coupling and so that the um, flange um, is, is straight. Alright, hopefully uh, this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.